Hello, my dear students. Welcome to Teacher at Home. Today, class, we are going to learn the twelfth chapter. That is the reproduction in plants. To produce its kind is a characteristic of all living organisms. You can already learn this in chapter six. That is reproduction. We have already discussed in a sixth chapter, sixth class. The reproduction of new individuals from their parents is known as production not reproduction it is the production of individuals from their parents it is known as the reproduction but how do plants that is production of new individuals from their parents it is known as what reproduction how do plants reproduce there are different modes of reproduction in plants uh, that we have learned modes of reproduction that is try to list the various parts of the plant and write the functions of each most plants have roots stems and leaves they are called the vegetative parts of the plant that is plants having roots stems and leaves are known as the vegetative parts of the plant after a certain period of growth most plants bear flowers you may have seen the mango trees flowering in spring it is these flowers that give rise to juicy mango fruit we enjoy the we enjoy in summer we eat the fruits we usually discard the seeds then seeds germinate and form new plants what is the function of flowers in plants flowers perform the function of reproduction that is flowers are the what reproductive parts of the plants there are several ways by which the plants produce their offspring they are categorized into two they are the asexual and the sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction plants give rise to new plants without seeds whereas in seeds in asexual reproduction the new plants are produced without the production of seeds whereas in sexual reproduction what happens new plants are produced from seeds new plants they are been produced from seeds vegetative propagation it is a type of asexual production in which the new plants are produced from roots stems leaves and buds since reproduction it is through the vegetative parts it is known as the vegetative propagation cut a branch of rose or chamba with a node this piece of branch it is known as it is termed as cutting and bury the cutting in the soil so we have to cut uh, what a node from this plants and has to be uh, buried into the soil a node is a part of the stem branch at which a leaf arises so the part at which a leaf arises it is known as the node water the cutting every day and observe the so you have to water it daily after a few days we can see the roots coming out new leaves to arise take the same activity by growing the money plant in a jar of water and observe your observation so if you are uh, taking a plant of money plant and kept it in a glass pot we can see the observation that is the roots coming out from it you may have seen the flowers uh, developing into uh, that is buds developing into flowers apart from the flower buds uh, there are buds in the axil that is point of attachment of the leaf and the node that is been referred as the axil of leaves which develop into shoots so the axil it is that which develop into the shoots these buds are called vegetative buds a bud consisted of a short stem around which a mature overlapping leaves are present and vegetative buds can also give rise to new plants vegetative buds in turn can give rise to new plants take a fresh potato observe the scars on it with the help of the magnifying glass you may find buds in them the scars are referred to as the eyes cut the potato into small portion each with an eye and bury into the soil what are the pieces regularly for a few days see these portions are the buds arising from it sprouting from an eye then likewise you can also uh, uh, see it in ginger and also in turmeric bryophyllum that is the sprout leaf plant has buds in the margins of the leaves if a leaf of the plant falls on the moist soil each bud will give rise to new plant so leaf also has the ability to give rise to new plant 
Fruits of some plants can also give rise to new plants. Sweet potato, dahlia, they are the examples. Plants such as cacti produce a new plant uh, with their parts get detached to, uh, from the main part. That is a leaf. When it is planted, uh, planted into the soil, it will develop into a new plant. Part can grow into a new plant. Plants produced by vegetative propagation take less time to grow and bear flowers and fruits earlier than those production from seeds. The new plants are exact copies of the parent plant as they are produced from a single parent. Later in this chapter, you can learn that plants are produced by sexual reproduction have characteristics of both parents. That is, parents produce seed as a result of sexual reproduction. Budding. You have already learned about the tiny organisms like yeast can, uh, can be seen only under a microscope. This grow multiply even few hours if sufficient nutrients are made available to them. Remember that yeast is a single celled organism. Take a piece of yeast cake and yeast powder from a bakery or a chemist shop. Take a pinch of yeast and place it in the container with some water. Add a spoonful of sugar and shake it dissolve. Kept it in a warm part of the room. So what we have to take it is the yeast and also sugar solutions. Put a drop in this liquid on a glass light and observe under a microscope. You may see the formation of new yeast cell. What we are taking uh, yeast cake or yeast powder. Then a pinch of uh, it is placed in a container having some water and a spoonful of sugar. From that a drop it is being placed in the uh, placed in a slide and kept under the microscope. You can see new yeast cells arising from it. Yeast cell developing bud, new bud, a chain of buds are being seen. A small bulb like a projection coming out from the yeast, it is that is the bulb like a projection, it is being termed as what bud. Bud gradually grows and gets detached from the parent cell and forms a new yeast cell. The new yeast cell grows, matures, and produces more, uh, more yeast cells. Sometimes another bud arises from the bud, changing a new chain of buds. If the process continues, a large number of yeast cells are produced in a short time. Fragmentation. You might have seen earlier that slimy green patches in ponds or in other stagnant water bodies. These are the algae. When water and nutrients are available, algae grow, multiply rapidly by fragmentation. An algae breaks up the two or more fragments. These fragments or pieces grow into new individuals. The process continues and they grow into a large area in a short period of time. Next is a spore formation. That is in spore formation what we are seeing. Chapter 1st you learned that the fungi on a bread piece grow from spores which are present in the air. So we can see fungi which has been uh, uh, seen if uh, the bread uh, cover is kept for outside. Spores will be coming out in the cotton uh, like mesh on the bread. When spores are released, uh, they keep floating in the air. As they are very light, they can cover long distances. Spores, they are actually, what is this? The, uh, sorry, this is the spore forming bodies. Spores are asexual reproductive bodies. Each spore it is covered by a hard, hard protective coat. Coat to withstand what unfavorable conditions such as high temperature and low humidity. They can survive for a long time under favorable conditions. A spore germinates and develops into new individual. Plants such as moss and ferns also produce by means of spores. Sexual reproduction. You have learned earlier that the structure of the flower. You know that the flowers are the reproductive parts of the plant. Stamens are the male reproductive and pistil is the female reproductive part. Take a mustard, china rose, uh, petunia flower and separate its reproductive parts. Study the various parts of stamen and pistil. pistil. Flowers which contain either only pistil or stamens, it is known as what? Unisexual flowers and flowers which contain both stamens and pistil, it is known as the bisexual flowers. So we can classify the flowers as, as that contain the stamen and those contain the stamens and pistil as bisexual flowers. Corn, papaya and cucumber produce unisexual flowers whereas mustard, rose and uh, petunia it have bisexual flowers. Corn, papaya, cucumber unisexual and flowers such as mustard, rose and uh, petunia it have bisexual flowers. See so, here this is the uh, and the filament 
then what stigma style ovary pistil it is been produced this is the anther filament male and females uh, unisexual flowers may be present in the same plant or in different parts plants could you identify the anther and the filament on the stamen anther contain pollen grains which produce male gametes a pistil consisted of stigma style and ovary ovary contain one or more ovules The female gamete or the egg it is formed up. It has an ovule. And the and the filament in the stamen and the contains pollen grains which produce male gametes. A pistil consists of sigma style and ovary. Ovary what it contains? It contains one or more ovules. The female gamete and the egg it is formed from an ovule. A female gamete produced from an or the egg it is formed from an ovule. In sexual reproduction the male and the female gamete it fuse together to form the Cygota. This is the stigma and the ra. Pollination generally pollen grains have a tough protective coat which prevents them from drying up. Since pollen grains are light, they can be carried by wind, wind or water. Insects it visits flowers and carries away pollen on their bodies. Some of the pollen lands on the stigma of a flower of the same kind. The transfer of a pollen from the anther to the stigma it is known as the pollination. If the pollen lands on the stigma of the same flower uh, or another flower, if it uh, uh, pollen lands on the stigma of the same flower or another flower, it is known as self pollination. When the pollen of the flower lands on the stigma of a flower of different plant of the same kind, it is known as cross pollination. The cell which results after fusion of gametes, it is known as zygote. Process of fusion of male and female, it is known as uh, fertilization. Male and female, it is known as fertilization, and the zygote it develop into an embryo. Fruits and seed formation. It is after fertilization, the ovary grow into a fruit. And the other part of the flower fall off. This fruit is ripened ovary. The seeds develop from the ovules. The seed contain an embryo enclosed in a protective seed coat. Some fruits are fleshy and juicy, such as mango and orange. Such uh, some fruits are hard like almonds and walnuts. Seed dispersal. In nature, same kind of plants grow at different places. This happens because seeds are dispersed to different places. Sometimes after a walk through a forest. Or a field or a park, you may have found seeds of fruits sticking into your clothes. Did you observe how the seeds were clinging onto your clothes? What do you think will happen if all the seeds of the plant were to fall at the same place and grow there? There would be severe competition, isn't it? If there is a large crowd, means scarcity will be there for their uh, uh, for their needs. That is uh, for sunlight, water, minerals, and also space. As a result, seeds would not grow in your healthy plants. Plants benefit by seed dispersal. It prevents the competition between the plant and the own seedlings for sunlight, water, and also minerals. It also enables the plants to invade new habitats for wider distribution. Seeds and fruits of plants are carried away by what wind, water, and animals. Winged seeds such as those of drumstick and maple, seeds of grasses or hairy seeds of oak. It is mud and hairy fruit of sunflower. Get blown off with the wind to far away places. Some seeds are dispersed by water. These fruits are uh, seeds usually develop floating ability in the form of spongy or fibrous outer coat in a coconut. Some seeds are dispersed by animals, especially spiny seeds, which hooks which get attached to the bodies of animals and are carried to the distant places. They are the xanthan and what. Urina. Some seeds are dispersed when the fruits burst with the sudden jerks. These seeds are scattered far from the parent plant. This happens in the case of custard and balsam. Seeds of drumstick maple. We can see this. What is this? This is hairy of sunflower and hairy seed of madar. That's all about this chapter. If you are interested, please do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Okay, thank you.